two Division One playoffs, the first playoffs that will have a prize pool. Um, I'm joined by uh, Dennis. Say hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah, like you said, a really good playoffs today. The Division One playoffs, and not just a regular playoff. Uh, like we saw at Division 4, 3 and 2. Now we're here with two conferences. The very first time it is going to happen that we have a B stream. So everyone here, welcome to the very first stream on the B stream. So um, yeah, Division 1.1 and Division 1.2 will battle it out against each other to in the end take the Division 1 crown. Uh, would you want, should I, do you think it's fair that I go through how this B stream is going to be used? Yeah, sure thing. Because... There's been um, a, a, fair, a fair few occasions where teams have managed to schedule a game and then another team managed to schedule it at pretty much the exact same time. And what we decided to do is because we've got the double con the two conferences, so we kind of need to have a B stream, we thought when there is uh, two games going on at the same time and we have the people available, we will do our best to make sure we have casters distributed and streamers to give all game coverages or all games coverage as best as possible but this is the b stream so you will have up first glasgow storm against no hope esports on the a stream i believe it's trinitas versus ascension trinity they will go against ascension no ascension uh, irrelevant esports the main team um on the b stream next so we'll have to see who gets that spot and whoever from this game uh, whoever wins from this game will go up against, quickly check, uh, We Vicious on the A stream. So if you want to see that, make sure you do switch over. Have, have both of them open. Why not? I don't see an issue with it. But uh, yeah, should we get into predictions, Dennis? Yeah, sure. I think more predictions. So um, yeah, of course, right now we will be having the very first round one between Glasgow Storm and No Hope Esports. It is the uh, third place of Division 1.2 against the second place of Glasgow Storm. So you could maybe say No Hope Esports, they maybe are the underdogs here because they just um, finished in one place lower, not in the same division though. And I think that Division 1.2 was a harder division than 1.1 in this season. I think in the end, um, No Hope Esports did a really good job getting that top three spot um, just over uh, Power Esports and in the end securing playoffs. So I think I'm going for No Hope Esports for this uh, for this game. And then in the end, they will go to the semifinals. Okay, I think that's a fair fair judgment. I mean, yeah, you mentioned that the Division 1.2 is a lot harder than um, Division 1.1. But I'm going to go against you on that and say that Glasgow Storm are going to uh, take this. Um Purely because I just want to go against your prediction, and maybe one of one of the teams will give us a very interest, entertaining show, as I'm sure all the teams will be playing today will. And hopefully, the uh, then we will have a um, interesting matchup for the potential second round. So I guess we'll try and get into this next game as Percy is heavily impatient, it seems. Um, but yeah, we have up first Glasgow Storm. Against No Hope Esports, they say wait. They say that we're wa they're waiting and they just can't wait, but they're they're taking forever to join. Uh, wait, <laughs> does No Hope not even? No, uh, uh, no, no we, Hope. We're no just hope? in the lobby right now, seeing Glasgow Storm join the lobby, but No Hope is, is everyone is here. Spectators. Yeah, everyone is here. Oh, oh okay. they're now here. Now we see the people joining. Two, hey. two, three. We made it. Yes. 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 Give them a round of applause. Just in time. <laughs> but up first, like I mentioned, Glasgow Storm against No Hope Esports. Percy plays that to the center. Zach doing a good job of keeping it high. Bram clearing it to the side. Jaffa having to miss. Hashtags had the opportunity, but Bram reads the backboard here and scores the first goal. Already a very quick goal by the Glasgow Storm side. No defender in the goal. The good question where is the defense of No Hope Esports? No great start they would have hoped for, but Bram already in the lead here with Glasgow Storm after 12 seconds of this game one. Good kickoff. Unfortunately, Glasgow Storm still have hold of the ball. An opportunity almost arose as Jaffa managed to clear it out, but Bram is there to block it. Zach clearing this beautifully forward. Percy forcing it to the back corner. Hey seems to be able to just get the 50. Ashtag ends up winning it. Bram to pace who misses Zach pushing this down Percy getting a brilliant block. Hashtags 
Getting a 50 once again. Having to go for another. Hashtag's waiting patiently. Tries to play a dribble. No one's there to take it from him. Zach doing a good job of taking it over their opposition. But Percy quickly there to clear it. Yeah, so far it's been pretty much Glasgow Storm taking up the offenses, taking up the the ball to the field of Nope Esports, keeping the ball at the side of Nope Esports. Uh, yeah, pretty well done by Glasgow Storm the past minute. But as I already said, it's a best of seven. So we just begin with game one. Everything can still happen. No Nope Esports now in the offense, trying to get a goal, and they can do a great demo from Zaki, who also can get the goal. On his name, it was Zaki with the dribble trying to pass it to Jaffa, but in the end just goes for the demo. And in the end, uh, I think it was Jaffa maybe getting the demo, but yeah, in the end, a uh, great play by the Gnome Esports side, and it's all tied up in this game one. I'm pretty sure Zaki got that demo, but I think it was Jaffa's fake of a shot. That's, it looked like a fake of a shot, I don't know if he missed. We'll call it a fake, because that's how, you know, this level works. When, when you get to a certain tier, every time you miss, it's just a... Fake, but Aztecs showing us why No Hope deserve to win this. Yeah, the Portuguese striker Aztec strikes again. <laughs> 2 1 it is for No Hope Esports. Now they turn this game around right now. Just in a matter of seconds, it's now No Hope Esports leading. Not Glasgow Storm. They've done an incredible job now. But can they hold it on for the upcoming three and a half minutes? We still have to see. Ram with an opportunity missing. Zaki able to beat him to it. Percy struggling, keeps it high. Pace and Percy both going for that double commit, but managed to get it cleared. Ashtax into the center. Percy missing. Jaffa with an opportunity. Bram, the only one there. Plenty of time given. Zaki almost had an opportunity, but Ashtax takes an open net. 3 1. Yeah, there he is again. Ashtax with the second goal on his name. Bram is just struggling in defense. And in the end, just passes the ball to Aztecs. Lesko Storm had a great start of this series, but just lost it all after that goal. It's 3-1 now for an OP Esports, doing a really good job, but still three minutes to play for in this game one. Such an intense matchup. You can you could tell that Glasgow Storm aren't quite warmed up into it. Just a bit of miscommunication on the defense in that for that, that last goal there. All three players committing, all three players are nowhere to be seen in net. Bram had struggling to get back and he just couldn't. Unfortunately, it led to Ashtax getting a second goal to his name. Percy had the opportunity. Jaffa with a comfortable save. Great reactions for it. Zaki keeps it high off the backboard. Percy and Bram getting a bump on each other. Ashtax keeping it to the side. Bram getting a hit, not quite getting the jump off the corner wall. Ends up throwing himself out of position. Jaffa clearing it to the back corner. Percy with a good touch. Leaving the boost, unfortunately. Now going to struggle. Zaki doing a good job. It was an open net for Jaffa. Pace with a brilliant save. It was just little pace. Who just had enough pace to get a save on his <laughs> name. That's a fun indeed. But now it is Glasgow Storm in the offense. Trying to uh, come back in this game. But there's still two goals down. They really need some goals right now. As I already said, they had a great start, but then it was just no Esports just blasting over them with goals and goals. Three goals came from no Esports after, and in the end, Glasgow Storm just got struck, struggling in defense after. But now it is just that they're trying to get back into offense. It doesn't really work out, though. One and a half minutes for the Glasgow Storm side in this game one. Aztecs just missing, leaving it for Jaffa. Pace had the opportunity to score, hits the post. Bram with a shot. Zaki with the save. Jaffa and Little Pace battling it out. Bram and Percy needing to take their time. No boost for Percy. Jaffa with an opportunity. Bram the one to clear it. Zaki. Comfortable save. Awkward though as Pace gets that shot off the backboard. Ashtax pushes it forward. Misses. Percy with an opportunity. Jaffa. Leaving it for Zaki. The ball falls into the center. Jaffa doing a good job of reaching the first. Can't quite get the second. A miss from Ashtax. Little Pace doesn't get the center ball that was not required. And it led to, I believe that was Jaffa, getting the save. Yeah, now the time is taken for Glasgow Storm. It's only game one. But you really do not want to lose game one. And right now it looks like they're going to lose it. They still have 30 seconds-ish to uh, come back in this game. But it's a really hard task for them now. It's uh, no baseball. Just keeping up the pressure. Trying to get the ball to the side of Glasgow Storm. Really well done by Nope Esports. It would have been pretty good so far. They just had a struggle in the very first 
minute of this game, but now they just back, they are two goals up with 15 seconds to go, and it does not look like they're going to lose this lead in game one. What a shot that was placed perfectly under, I believe that was Bram. Hashtag keeps that high. The opposition fighting for it. Zaki placing it behind. Brilliant job to, to secure this lead. Very well done. Yeah, very well done indeed. And now with 11 seconds left, it's safe to say that no Beast Boys are going to take this game one to their end. Very well done by them, but they have to hold it on. It's uh, best of seven series and only one game is not enough to win you that series. A long journey still for the Nobe Esports side, but also for the Glasgow Storm side. It's interesting to see, can Glasgow Storm come back from this or will be no hope Esports in game two? Uh, yeah, doubling the lead. We don't know, that's the issue. Both of these teams, well, we'll say this first. Glasgow Storm played very comfortably in that first minute. However, no hope Esports managed to just prosper and continue going on through, taking four goals after it. And I think it's it's safe to say that um, No Hope Esports are looking at better, uh, having a better contention to take the whole thing than Glasgow Storm. However, like I've mentioned many times on these past few streams, the first game, although it's a brilliant head start, you don't exactly need it. It's more of just figuring out what your opponents do and learning how to counteract it. We will see how they fare in this next game. Pace takes a shot, Zaki drops it awkwardly, a demo with a flick and Percy missing, Pace needing to get the pinch, Zaki able to reach it in time, a wasted opportunity from Glasgow Storm, Jaffa with a shot, Percy with a comfortable save, brilliant job to get there, Pace, lack of boost it seemed, but Ashtax gets it through, Pace getting a touch almost, but Jaffa gets the swift block, almost continuing, but unfortunately not. Is he in a high brand with the opportunity and secures the first goal? Yeah, well done, lucky by Glasgow Storm. Just uh, straight pressure from the beginning of this game. They struggled then a bit, and nope, Esports came back, but there is Bram. He gets a good goal on this uh, on his side. Glasgow Storm again in the lead. We saw that last game as well, and in the end, they lost with 3 1. Can they keep it up now? They have to, otherwise, it would be nope, Esports going up with two. But yeah, still a very long game ahead of us. Zaki clearing this out. Bram with another shot. Jaffa getting an awkward touch, leaving the goal wide open, and Bram securing the second goal for his team. Yeah, a bit awkward there from Jaffa going for the save, but he was just turning to the other post and still had to turn to the ball, and in the end, had no power to get that save. And in the end, it went in Glasgow Storm up with two now, having a really good start of game two, trying to extend it. And they do indeed. Percy gets a third straight from the kickoff. It has been a great start for the Glasgow Storm side. The demo from Percy as well on the last man. That's a great execution from the kickoff. And Glasgow Storm are just running away here with game two. Very well done there. Percy just forcing that goal very early on. The ball rolling down. Ace with a good hit. Has an opportunity. Reads it poorly. Percy trying to continue. Zaki unable to get the clear. Jaffa the one to take it around their opposition. Ram gets there comfortably, but Ashtax is keeping on that pressure. Hits the ceiling. Just about this. He taps the down. Ram doesn't reach it in, in time. Pace unable to clear it around Zaki. Ram. Ball hit, hit high. Jaffa played it across. The one to reach it was indeed Percy, but a 50 didn't exactly go in Glasgow Storm's way. Three minutes remaining, and we don't know if no hope esports are gonna come back. Yeah, this is going to be a really hard task now. When two minutes in the game, we are seeing a 4 0 lead already in favor of Glasgow Storm. It's just the pace is lacking from no hope esports. They just can't keep up with the pace of Glasgow Storm in this game. That maybe shows why Nope Esports, you know, ended up in third place, while Glasgow Storm ended up in second place in the other conference. Maybe it's just a little bit of a difference, though Nope Esports still have that game in hand. So they maybe will not win this game, but then the game will be all, or the series will be all tied up 
and then uh, you know we have everything to play for and then a best of five that's coming up and now it is Glasgow Storm up with four no beast but still some time left to you know maybe score those four goals and uh, you know maybe secure this uh, game to their end get this game to an overtime but right now they really need goals they get an the offense but they need those goals right now the ball gets shot on target Graham then pace with the clear Graham needing to get the block, Ashtax pushing it onto the backboard once more, Zaki with a shot, hits the crossbar, Bram again, Jaffa finally getting the goal, very well done. Clinical finish from Jaffa in the end, and that's what Nob Eastmos needed, Bram just gives possession away, double commit then, no less men in the goal, Glasgow Storm, and Jaffa sold that and takes the ball into the upper corner, and it's a Nob Eastmos fighting back, at least got one back now. Half time still to play for though, and uh, well, yeah, this game can go anyway. Still, Glasgow Storm in, yeah, in offense, and now they scored their fifth goal, and maybe we see, we will now see a four goal difference again. It's going to be a really hot toss now for Nope Esports to come back again. Very well done there. Backboard hit, then to pace to finally clear it, giving the five one lead at the moment for Glasgow Storm. Hashtag. Getting there almost in time. Zaki trying to take a shot anyway. Double commit for the save. One was only needed. Pace. Unable to reach it. And Percy with the demo. Zaki struggling as Bram hits this into the center once more. Ashtax reaches it. Tries to clear it. Missing. Percy throws it into the center. It bounces high from Jaffa. No one can reach it. Bram beating Ashtax. Unity now. Zaki gets it in the center. Percy getting a good clear. Zaki again to Ashtax with a shot. Jaffa couldn't get the bump or the goal afterwards. It's the ceiling. Percy to clear to Bram. What a top quarter finish. That's a banger and all. Bram with a great goal to get a sixth for Glasgow Storm. The pass from Percy and then Bram with a phenomenal redirect into the top corner. Nothing nope esports could do there. That is brilliant executed by Bram, and then he gets a six for Glasgow Storm against only one of Nob Esports. Yeah, they're just running away with this game too, with maybe the victory. I could say the victory. Well, five, five goal difference now. It's really hard to come back, but it's uh, yeah, it has been a great goal from Bram, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward maybe to uh, Nob Esports winning the next game. Maybe uh, Glasgow Storm they have the momentum. So yeah, interesting to see how game three would turn out then. A minute remaining, it does seem like Glasgow Storm are going to take this. No Hope did a brilliant job to take that first game, but maybe this is going to be a mental dampener too uh, for them, as they've uh, had an even harder deficit than Glasgow Storm did last game. We'll have to see how they come back and see if the momentum switches or not. But Zaki now given the opportunity to Jaffa, getting a good touch. Bram with the 50, falls to Percy. Keeps it high, bounces down, gets the control around Zaki. Jaffa with an opportunity. Ram clearing it forward. Zaki with control. Gets a fake dangerously in front of his own net, might I add. Ace needing to get back. Zaki with a good 50. Ram trying to clear it. Doesn't work. Percy finally gives him the hand. And Pace getting a nice attempt at a fake. Does send the opposition into trying to go for a 50 doesn't work out for them Ashtax needing to get this clear manages just about Bram unable to clear it Percy does so however Pace almost got the opportunity but it is 6-1 to Glasgow Storm and this game just shows how Glasgow Storm can be so dangerous in offense it was Nope Esports is really you know struggling with the offense that Glasgow Storm had and Nope Esports no accuracy from their side if you just have a look at their shot count. It's uh, quick maths, nine shots and only <laughs> one goal. It's uh, yeah, that's that's not great accuracy from them. But Glasgow Storm did uh, pretty good in uh, in offense. Just had so many offenses, had so many goals as well. Six goals to their end, and uh, well, in the end, uh, a good win for them going into game three with uh, best of five series. Now it's uh, one game each, and uh, yeah, everything can happen now in this series. Indeed, a quick server going down for maintenance. We will let the teams know they can join. Um, 
I want to say that you, there was 14 or 13 shots there for Glasgow Storm to the 7 or 8 saves that they managed to get against uh, No Hope. So it does show they were very dominant last game. We will have to see how they fare in this next one. Quickly, before, I want to, uh, before we do continue with this next game, hopefully the teams do join in time. I want to say a big thanks to Gadalians for making a prize pool possible. There is 30 euros up for grabs for both teams, for any team in this division. And then the division, uh, and then in Champions Division, we will have a larger prize pool. Also, I'm assuming there's going to be links to everything. There is uh, the Discord, Twitter as well. Uh, the Discord will allow you to join uh, the the league for uh, other other times. It's up. The Twitter will let you know as to when we are streaming and when um, or what the standings are for divisions later on in the seasons and there is a youtube link if you do manage to miss some of these streams or uh, i miss some of like the first few games of a, a series that you really want to watch it'll be up on youtube to make sure you're able to watch it there is a match schedule as well in case you are wondering how the league play does work uh, that the information will be in the discord to that as well and finally there is a donation button if you do wish to donate it is much appreciated again you don't have to or you use um, ECCS6 in the Masherino link and it will give a free uh, 50 cents to the prize pool which will <laughs> if anything uh, make it more tense for the teams that are going to be playing but we are back in this next game Bram doing a good job with a pass hitting the crossbar does little pace but Bram Zaki with a dangerous squishy save no boost managing to get there Ashtag's potential double opportunity Ace going for the dunk, reaches it, open opportunity again, ma making a backflip, doesn't get what they want, nice triple from Jaffa, getting a good demo, Ace, getting a nice 50, Jaffa the one to take it around Percy, Ram passing to Pace, unable to reach it in time. Yeah, we already saw two open net opportunities for Glasgow Storm, both missed though, but that definitely shows that they already got a pressure on the end, they already have four shots in the first minute, Nope Esports lacking now, but still a goalless game, Nope Esports, they need to come back now, they need to get back into offense, because game one they did a good job, but now they're just struggling, the last game and now this game as well, Glasgow Storm really dominant in offense, and in the end it's just waiting for them to make their first goal of this game. And uh, yes, they're so dangerous, it's just raiding. And uh, yeah, the Glasgow Storm team are really doing well in this, uh, in this series so far. Four shots already for Glasgow Storm to almost one. I'm going to say it's one <laughs> because that was a brilliant opportunity uh, for No Hope Esports. They have managed to get a few saves, but this just shows Glasgow Storm aren't quite as clinical as they'd hoped to be. They do need to step it up. They do need to get these early goals because it, it, it does show how well they were able to play in that set, that last game that we watched. A brilliant fake from Pace there, almost getting it into the center. Pissy taking a shot, double commit from No Hope Esports. Bram dropping that to the backward. Ashtags with a brilliant clear, an opportunity for No Hope as Jaffa gets the shot off the backboard. Zaki is there hitting it wide after his demo attempt. Unfortunately, they don't get a goal from it. Percy hitting it backwards dangerously. Bram able to clear it. Yeah, so for a high paced game, but now there's no East Coast. They're getting into offense a bit, really, what they wanted. We see the passing plays, we see the connections between the Nope Esports players trying to you know, beat this Glasgow Storm side. Though it's a very back and forth play, uh, very back and forth the game so far. And uh, yeah, I can't really say who's going to win this. So far, still a goalless game, half time pass. And uh, everything can happen in this game three. Ace trying to outpace Zaki. Another one there for the, the puns. You made one, so it was only fair for me, Dennis, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, in, in case you try and have a go at me. Can we make a compilation then? <laughs> a compilation of other puns. <laughs> that would be longer than the streams that, that, that we have, let's be honest. I mean, the amount that we've got, longer than the playoffs. Jaffa mm. trying to pass that to Zaki. Brilliant job from Percy to push it forward. Ashtax with the opportunity. Ram hitting this forward pace. Couldn't quite reach it in time. Another one there. Unintentional, I promise. Jaffa getting a good 50. Ram hitting it to the side. Pace unable to reach the ball. Percy trying to get the pass off. Doesn't work. 
Pace faking Ashtax has the opportunity to center it. No boost, however. Percy with a brilliant redirect. Almost going in. Ashtax with a brilliant save as well. Ball falls into the center. Zaki unable to get a pass off to his teammates. Brilliant shot from Jaffa. Zaki to follow it up. Ashtax can't quite pace. Outpace, pace. And it seems like Jaffa is struggling on the ball. Not sure if he thinks he's Neo from the Matrix or, you know, Tarzan. But, well, you know, it doesn't really matter. They're playing Rocket League. That's the most important thing. Still a minute remaining and nothing has gone in. Yeah, well, you can be, you know, Tarzan. You can be Neo. But you need to be like a Justin or Squishy to win this game. <laughs> because so far, a goal is game. But as I say, that is Zaki getting the very first goal for Nob Esports and for this game as well. With 47 seconds to go, it is now. Let's go still really need to push really good goal from Zaki straight into the bottom corner, past the defender and uh, no Esports. Really back into this series now. We're about to win this game free. As I say, 45 seconds now and uh, no Esports. All they gotta do now is just defending their clean sheet. <laughs> well, they haven't done a good job. <laughs> they, clearly haven't, they clearly haven't done a good job of defending that clean sheet. As Little Pace does a brilliant job of tying it up with an open net. I think they got too comfortable, tried to push for another goal, but it just unfortunately didn't work. Tails, don't talk about what these conversations are. They are what they are, and it's all that matters. An opportunity to go in. Ashtax with a brilliant save. A demo from Percy, but Pace scores the second one with 30 seconds remaining. Yeah, I clearly should have said that they should yeah, defend a clean sheet because in the middle of seconds, it's now they are one goal behind with 31 seconds, like a 15 seconds, so something like that. They yeah, they went from mono up to two one behind. Well, that's not great defense from their from their side, but now it's just no baseball. They have to offend again. They need to get the offenses. But yeah, we now see some shots there. Not good enough to get a goal though. And 20 seconds, time is ticking. And then it would be Glasgow Storm going. Yeah, you know, one game up, it's a very important game, but it is Glasgow Storm doing a really good job with the comeback and Nope Esports really struggling to get their second goal. Ashtax drops it, Ram doesn't quite win that 54 seconds, Zaki needs to push it, passes it to Jaffa, Jaffa's taking too long, drives away from the ball and can't keep it up in time, Glasgow Storm takes the third game of the series. Yeah, a very good win for Glasgow Storm. Just, yeah, it's pretty much the score line was the score line of the series. Where Nope Esports went 1 0 up, but then in the end, just in a matter of seconds, Glasgow Storm just came 2 1 up. Then, really good comeback from them and about to, uh, you know, maybe go into match point going into the next game. It is a Nope Esports really lacking in defense in the end, just leaving the net open too much. You can't let that happen in Division 1 playoffs because you will get scored on by the opposite side. And now it is Glasgow Storm here in game four, hoping to get into match point in the next game. But Nope Esports will do everything they can to get this game to their end and uh, yeah, equalize this series to a two all yeah, in this series. So I'm really interested to see how this game will turn out. Ram taking it to the side. Jaffa unable to get a nice hit. Opportunity for Zaki as he clears it upfield. Percy's up, beats him to it. Ace getting it over one. Can he get it around Jaffa? Manages, but Jaffa is waiting patiently. Hits it across. Zaki's there to receive it. Clears it down the line. It's a good job. Percy getting a comfortable clear. Ashtag's awkward hit straight up. Pace with the opportunity. Can't keep it low enough as Percy gets a demo. Ashtag's with the clear. Ram doesn't quite get it around Jaffa. Pace. Opportunity. Ashtax pushes it early. Percy with a good clear pace. Doesn't have enough boost to reach it. So unfortunate. Jaffa gets it around one. Gets a pinch to his teammate. Ashtax, can he go all the way? Takes over one. Jaffa with the 50. Doesn't do well enough. Percy clearing it dangerously. Bram is there, however. Hits it high. Percy dropping it. Just wide very unfortunate yeah so far a goalless game but we saw some offense from the OP spot as well from Glasgow Storm pretty back and forth but we saw some dangerous offenses we saw a shot from Glasgow Storm and now again 
a good opportunity for them, but they just can't find the net. It looks like both teams are playing a little bit passive, hoping that they can keep the clean sheet as long as possible. And so far, they're doing a good job, but one of them, one of the teams needs to offend sooner or later to get the goal. And especially for Nope Esports, it is important to get that goal, to get that win. Otherwise, it would be Glasgow Storm going into match point. And, uh, well, Nope Esports, they need to pick up the offense because right now it looks like they're lacking a bit in defense. They need to, you know, uh, go um, up the field a bit more because so far they've been pretty struggling in defense. But I can definitely see them going up. I can definitely see them making a goal sooner or later. But yeah, it is just waiting for one of these teams to score the very first goal of this game four. Ram is up, gets the hit, doesn't get a double touch. Jaffa now with an opportunity, flicks it out, taps it to his teammate. Unable to reach the ball in time, hits it well too high and putting it way above the goal. Piercy with an opportunity to get a nice 50. <clears throat> Jaffa's there. Piercy takes it around Zaki almost, but he gets the block, tries to go for a ceiling pinch. Piercy is there, placing it wide. Hashtags. Miss reads, unfortunately, no boost. Ram on control of the ball. Pace takes it over. Zaki almost. Brilliant save, Jaffa. Clearing this downfield. Doesn't quite manage it. Zaki leaves it for Ashtax. Takes it around two. Needs to beat Bram. No, his team. Zaki gets bumped by Jaffa. Jaffa managing to get the save, however. Very, almost a terrible and unfortunate thing for Noho. Yeah, and this Noho, they need to push forward. They need to get that goal on their end. But right now, it is Glasgow Storm just taking up the offenses, being maybe a bit more speedy, a bit more mechanical than the Noho Beastball side. But it's still not because they have won the game, the very first game of this series. But yeah, everything can happen. They need to get into offense. But yeah, it is. Uh, if, if they get stuck in defense, it can be, be very dangerous because we saw how, how clinical Glasgow Storm can be in offense. Just with the passing plays, as we see right now, they work out so well for them. It's just waiting. If no Esports just stay back uh, for too long, it will be Glasgow Storm just coming at them but right now we see very well played there uh Zach in the end with the with the goal jaffa with the great pass getting the very first goal of this game four and then Zaki just delaying the shot and in the end just beating both defenders in the goal and with one minute to remain it is now no esports again with a lead can they hold it on this time or will it be glasgow storm getting the comeback if they do take the win it's 2-2 going to a best of three theoretically which no one realistically wants to play. Any win is a match point after that stage. And Zaki needing to do a good job of keeping this away from the opposition. Bram to pace, takes the shot. Brilliant passing play. Yeah, this was what I was talking about. Just those passing plays, Bram to little pace, a little pace with a great finish. Fast Aztecs in goal. Top corner, 127 kilometers an hour. That is a banger of a half. That is uh, Glasgow Storm with the equalizer. And uh, again, they're trying to uh, keep going. Just like last game, where they were 1 0 down, but just in a matter of seconds, they came back with two goals. Or maybe we see the same happening here. At least it's one, but definitely with, with a double commit like that and oh an open no. net like that. It's not getting in. 30 oh, seconds to go. <laughs> it was Glasgow an open Storm net. had an open net hitting the post after they got a demo. Placed it the wrong side, if anything, and wasted their opportunity. Zaki off the backboard. Jaffa securing this win almost. And Jaffa in the end, just waiting for Zaki to do his work. And in the end, Jaffa with a great finish as well. Just prosperity in the bottom corner. Just well placed. Good speed as well on the ball with a shot. And in the end, it is now no baseball leading. Potentially going to a best of three because then both teams would be on two games each and it can go anyway again there's no esports you know getting the momentum of glasgow storm from winning two games maybe three games in a row right now there's no esports dropping the ball down and they are one game or oh, yeah one go up in this uh, in in this game and they will win this game as well it is two all now in this series and it can go anyway now in the upcoming best of three such an intense battle Almost equal amount of shots. Glasgow Storm taking one extra, but one less save, unfortunately. And that's probably what led to No Hope managing 
to secure themselves this win. Very unfortunate for Glasgow Storm. They do need to push into this next game, try and take the match point, as do no hope. So we will have to see how that goes for both teams. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it has been a very good series so far, and right now going into game five, both teams just leveled up. And if I have a look on the A stream, we see well, not a really close game there. This is Samsung Trinity leading with 3-0, but definitely this is maybe a more intense series, 2-0, and the Glasgow Storm just uh, yeah, they're struggling after the last game, trying you know they, they trying to get back. It is the game for match point. I hope eSports will do everything they can to stop the Glasgow Storm offenses, just like they've done last game, to score the goals themselves and, uh, you know, in the end, going themselves into match point. Percy with an opportunity. Jaffa doing a good job with the block. Zaki clearing it out. Kill pace, taking his time. Flicks it well over one. Almost around another. Ashtag's missing the save. No one's there to score it. Bram getting it back into the center. Percy... Off the crossbar, doesn't reach it off of the bounce down. Bram again passing a center ball. Brilliant one at that. Zaki with a shot, zero boost. Percy gets the save. Jaffa gets beat by Bram. Such an intense first minute already. Percy getting it around one. Zaki playing it across. Jaffa doesn't reach it in time. Percy going to take this. Double commit dangerously from No Hope. No, zero boost. For Zaki, same with Jaffa, a 50. Little pace, the one to reach it. Ashtax clears it forwards. Bram able to push it to the side. Percy gets a good clear. Bram is able to get there. Tips it over. Ashtax getting a comfortable save. Yeah, and so far we see a really high-paced game. Both teams really want that goal, really want the first goal of this game five. It is so close. Just like in the series, this game just shows how equal these teams are. And yeah, this is waiting for the first goal to happen because both teams are really keen to get that first goal. They're not playing patient at all now. And they're just trying to get the goal on their ends. Just trying to get everything in offense. And really good to see this game five going in that way. Zaki, awkward hit. Percy trying to beat Jaffa. Doesn't have any boost to manage it. Opportunity now. Jaffa getting a whiff. Zaki, good clear. An opportunity now, it seems, for no hope. Zaki passing it into the center, doesn't get beaten by, and does get beat by Bram, unfortunately. An awkward hit up, Jaffa can't get the third hit, and Bram gets a comfortable clear. Ashtax, good hit. Percy eagerly able to stop it. Pace whiffing, unfortunately, puts his teammates in a dangerous position. Jaffa can't quite beat Bram. Percy can't get the 50 that they wanted. Ashtax struggling now. Pace forcing it into the center. Percy the one to reach it. Awkward hit, leaving Zaki backwards. Ashtax pushing with him. Doesn't get a midfield pass, but Jaffa's up already. Shoots it down. Percy with a comfortable save. Yeah, this is waiting for the teams to, you know, get a goal. But it looks like both teams are quite struggling with boost. If I just look a bit at the boost amount, it is very, uh, yeah, very lot of amount that um, the the upper two players just do not have that much boost left. So you know you can go for this offense, but if you have no boost, it is hard to create an, a good shot. Well, we saw a good shot from Zach early on in this game without any boost, but you know it, it's still very hard to perform those kind of shots. But yeah, now we still see a goalless game. Pretty interesting to, to say the least, because I've seen so many offenses. But yeah, just waiting for the very first goal. Both teams really trying to get the clean sheet, but it is one team that definitely will in the end throw the clean sheet away. And in the end, uh, you know, maybe potentially losing this game. But right now, goalless game it is. One minute left, and it looks like Zeki will get the goal to the No Hope side. Very good goal. And finally, we have the very first goal of this game five. Ashtax popping that into the center, and Jazaki just did a brilliant job to keep it over the Bram. Above, above Bram and below the crossbar was perfect. No one could reach it in time. Puts no hope, a goal ahead. Could give them the game ahead, putting them in match point. Anything can happen. The ball falls to Bram. Brilliant save from Ashtax. Ace whiffing, leaving it for Zaki. Takes the shot and scores. 
think there was a backflip from Percy going for the save. In the, yeah, in the beginning it was little pace. It's really awkward being the third man without much, with much boost. Uh, with, without much boost, I have to say, and in the end, Percy, just being the third man, couldn't get a save, couldn't get uh, in time to get that save, and now it is no Beachbolts being two goals up, and uh, about to go into match point, and uh, yeah, really well done by uh, no Beachbolts, just holding off the offenders of Glasgow Storm, because Glasgow Storm, they have had more shots, but here we see Glasgow Storm fighting back, as I say, they've had more shots, Definitely, their offenses are here. Again, a good passing play. Percy with the finish, fighting back, and the difference is only one goal with uh, 49 seconds in this game five. You say they've had more shots, but the more darts you throw at a dartboard, the more likely you're going to hit a bullseye, and that just seems to be what's happening for Glasgow Storm. They're taking as many shots as possible, hoping one will go in, and it's starting to work. Managed to get a goal. Only one goal behind. Graham managing to push this forward. Takes it almost over Ashtag. Pays with an opportunity. Gets beaten. Can see dangerous play there. It almost just bounced and bobbled towards the center of the goal. Can see with an opportunity. Almost beats Zaki to it. Graham able to just get a hit around Ashtag's Jaffa. Pushing it to Zaki. Able to take it over Percy. Seven seconds remaining. They really need to get these goals and almost got an own goal there. Dangerous play. Pace can't get the center pass and Ashtax tries to hit it down. Percy keeping it high. Jaffa missing. Oh my god. That's a goal line. Oh, that, that, that has to hurt for Glasgow Store, but in the end, <laughs> it is a no esports uh, winning this game, but it was really close. That's to say the least, it's an really unknown close. Esports. We're talking a few pixels close. <laughs> My word, that almost got pushed into overtime. Very well done from oh, No Hope to hold on, getting those seven saves in that game. They need to get this next win and confirm themselves a place in the next round. Yeah, then it will be the semi final. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's gonna be hard though. Well, we saw really a lot of shots from the Glasgow Storm side, nearly getting this here second goal. Well, just fall off the line of the of the goal, and in the end, just did not fall in. Unfortunate for Glasgow Storm, but definitely we've seen them playing really well. I can really see this game going to a game seven. But no esports keen to close out the series after this game. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. No esports doing a really good job, but Glasgow Storm also having really good offenses. And uh, yeah, it can go anywhere here. Ram had the opportunity. Ashtax with a quick and swift save. Now pushing this high. Percy to tap it down. And Ram with a winning that 50. Looks like he's going to try and center ball. But Jaffa with a good clear up field. Zaki has the opportunity for a shot. Places it into pace. Could have had a nicer shot. Jaffa almost putting that top corner. Zaki needing to beat Percy. Manages it. Ram clears it up field. Percy center ball. Almost had the shot off Jaffa. One touch. Two. Can he get a center pass? Manages it. No one is there, unfortunately. Bram for the pass. A drop down. Jaffa awkward hit. Percy getting his shot saved by Zaki. Bram. Opportunity to center. Jaffa with a good clear. Percy. One touch. Can he get another? Has the control. Around two. Jaffa just managing to get the savers. No one managed to push. Yeah, now they still Glasgow Storm really pushing in this game. That's really what they have to do. The offenses are great, but we're just waiting for that first goal. Nope, Esports trying to get out of it. Yeah, well, it are, it are already six shots for Glasgow Storm doing a really good job, but they need to score those shots because now there's no Esports in the offense. But yeah, we saw a lot of passing plays already, and that's really the key oh. of Glasgow Storm. And again, a really good passing play. Bram in the end, he gets the finish. Glasgow Storm are up with one. Bram hitting that corner wall, and Pace reading it perfectly to pass it back to Bram. Bram had a bit of help getting the bump on him. I think the opponent went for the demo, couldn't quite reach it, but Bram still managed to get the goal regardless of the bump. I'm pretty sure it would have gone in. Opportunity now is Jaffa gets an early touch, almost gets a dunk on Bram. Ashtax almost getting the center ball, little pace with an opportunity. 
takes it forwards. Almost beats Zaki. Ashtax and Jaffa both up. Bram the one there first. Zaki clears it to the side. Percy beats them all. Ashtax managing to tap it around one. Opportunity to tap it around the other. Jaffa now takes it past. Able to pass it into the center. Beats one. Bounce around Bram and Zaki equalizes. Zaki with the equalizer here in game six. Great, very good equalizer. Really what they needed here in match point. A great pass from Jaffa and in the end. Zaki just beating out the Glasgow Storm defense. Maybe that is their weakness, the defense. Nope, Eastbourne just being faster there in offense, beating out the both defenders. And now we have an all tied up score in game six. Match point for Nope Esports. And uh, yeah, Glasgow Storm really need to push forwards again, getting those goals, getting those passing plays. And in the end, maybe uh, scurring this series to a game seven. Percy, nice 50 on opportunity. Jaffa gets a comfortable save. Bram getting bumped by Ash Tax. Jaffa forcing this forward. No one's there. And little Pace gets an awkward hit. Percy having to make that save. Ashtax beats Percy. Bram getting the clear. Zaki pushing this forwards. Gets the 50. Percy managing to take it over one. Ashtax getting that bump. Percy and Ashtax seem to be out of play now. Jaffa having his shot. Oh, pass, sorry, blocked by Bram. And pass again. Ashtax awkward hit. Pace dangerously going for a squishy save, managing to reach it as he uses the side of the post to his advantage. Bram trying to beat Zaki to it, doesn't work out. Jaffa beats Percy, doesn't beat Little Pace. Ashtax clearing this forward. Bram keeps it high. Zaki with an opportunity, pushes it again. Little Pace hits it awkwardly to Ashtax, gets the dunk. Opportunity now as Zaki controls it. Tries to take it around Percy, passes it to Jaffa, beats two players, Bram the only one left, bounces into the center, Jaffa unable to get the shot that was needed. Little Pace now on the ball, can't quite get the dribble. Zaki hits it down, Jaffa clearing it around Bram, and oh, an opportunity for Bram missed after that save. Yeah, and it, it, Glasgow Storm, but this is just their task to score now because if Nope Esports scores, it would be fatal. And then Glasgow Storm could be out of the playoffs. But right now, we see Nope in the offense. And well, for Glasgow Storm, you'd really want to be a go ahead in this situation. You don't want to be tied up because, yeah, if the other team is in match point. You want this series to go to a game seven. But yeah, right now, we see really dangerous. Yeah, Ooh, no. awkwardness there in the defense of No Beastball. So you know what they hoped for, and Percy will get the goal on his name. Percy hitting that high. Awkward as Ajtax hits his teammate Zaki. Jaffa unable to clear it, hits it in, and then now a goal behind. If this goes to a match, the deciding game of Game 7, then it is truly Zaki getting that beautiful save. It's truly going to be a tense one. Very true, but now there's no peace, but trying to keep the offenders up, trying to get at least something out of this game, hoping this game would not, or this series would not go to a game seven. The Jeffa with a great solo play, but yeah, we see so many offenses, very tense game, but yeah, it's just waiting now. A really good demo there from Percy and Aztecs, but yeah, it looks like this game will go in favor of Glasgow Storm, meaning we would be going to a game seven, the very first game, game seven of today, as we are about to see Ascension Trinity winning the very first series of them against Trinidad. But now we are here, game seven, Glasgow Storm against Noob Esports. It's a really close series, very equal teams, and yeah, everything can happen here. We are on game seven. Anyone can win. Both teams have proven that. Will we see Glasgow Storm go up against their next team in We Vicious, or will it be no hope? Esports. It is going to be such a close one. It, uh, yeah, you did mention Essential Trinity have one. They will be up next on stream. This stream, in fact. And if I'm not mistaken, they'll be against irrelevant esports. So that's going to be a tough game. That'll be on this stream, like I mentioned. So we'll have to see how that goes for the match stacks. Playing that across to Jaffa. Brilliant job of clearing that forward. Bram unable to get it out. Pace shooting that downfield. Ashtax with a bump. A block, sorry. Zaki 
to Ash Tax. Percy getting the save. Jaffa needs to get this pass off well. Pace the one for it. Ash Tax clearing this to the side. Ram read it beautifully. Jaffa plays this downfield. Pace, awkward hit. Needs to get it away. Gets two touches around two players. Ash Tax, the last man back. Really can't afford to mess up here. Yeah, the pressure is on the boys on the field right now. You can just feel the pressure. The one who, the team who loses this game is out of playoffs, and the other one um, continues to the semi final. I think against We Vicious in the semis. But now it is one minute past. No goals yet. It looks like both teams just want to be a bit more passive. No goals scored. Just, yeah, they're trying to keep the defense clean. But yeah, you can't play like that the whole game. I can respect it's only the first minute passed, but a goal or offenses need to be created anytime soon. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it can go anyway. It's a Glasgow so we saw so many offenses from them, so many good offenses, passing plays, and uh, no esports just uh, in the end getting a lot of saves. But here they are, it worked for them. They are in game seven. And well, yeah, everything can happen. One and a half minute passed and still no goal scored. Little pace, unable to reach it as Jaffa clears this downfield. Graham. Passing to his teammate. Lil Pace doing a brilliant job of reaching it. Bram with the opportunity. The first goal of this game. Best of best of seven. Seventh match. My god, this is going to be tough. Yeah, this is a bit awkward with Zaki. I don't know really why he went for that. I think he thought Bram would get a really good hit on that. But in the end, it was just a weak hit. It was a slow shot. But in the end, it still went in as Glasgow Storm. Up with one, nearly up with two after the kickoff. Unfortunately for no Esports, it's only one trying to come back now. They need to pick up the offense. Three minutes left. You would say a lot of time. But it's, 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 a, it's a seventh game, so they really can't just stay back now. It is a double commit from the Glasgow Storm side, oh, but they still no. get the goal. Graham will get it in. That opportunity of a lifetime there. Zaki had two people commit, back flips, passes it to Bram, his two teammates were upfield, quite questionable, but if he managed to get it around Bram, that was a free goal for no hope. They would have been tied up, this would have been so much easier for them, but unfortunately that isn't the case. Holly, welcome people from the A stream, I see a lot of people tuning in now in this very intense game 7, we see Glasgow Storm leading with two goals. And well, no Esports trying to come back here. They try to keep up the offense. There's a great passing play. Can't get it past the defender though. Half time pass of this game seven. The very last game of this series. And that will be the third for Glasgow Storm. Will this be the end? Or will no Esports fight back in this game seven? It's almost as if the coffin has been sealed for oh, no hope. They have given away too many chances. Three goals that could have easily been avoided in my opinion, but Glasgow Storm have done a, a brilliant job. Unfortunately, that's a fourth, and yeah, this is gonna be super tough for Noho. Yeah, there's nothing what hurts more than getting, you know, to game seven, being the Noho eSports side, but then just getting demolished in game seven. 4-0 lead for Glasgow Storm. And we see uh, well in the chat, Saki has some problems with his controller. And uh, well, I hope he fixed it because he just can't that happen in game seven. It's really unfortunate. But now we see a four goal lead for Glasgow Storm. Two minutes left. No people need to pick up the offense right now. They can't just stay back now. They can't play passive. They need to give everything an offense. And um, oh well, it's a four goal lead. Glasgow Storm hoping they can uh, they they can secure this lead. But now we see Aztecs. As I already said, the Portuguese striker strikes again. One goal back, and the, 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 the goal difference now is only three. People are putting F in chat for the No Hope side, but Ashtax is slowly climbing and clawing his way back. There is two minutes, there is three goals, which is possible. No Hope do have a chance. They need to grasp it and take this win. Unfortunately, there. Glasgow Storm take the lead even larger than it was already. Four goals ahead now, so unfortunate. And back in the four goal difference again. There's really not what no esports wanted. They needed the goal, and Glasgow Storm, they made the goal. And I think it's safe to say, well, with two minutes left, it's going to Glasgow Storm. 
or a miracle would have to happen here in this game seven. It has been a great series, but it's just painful to watch for no esports in this game seven. Jaffa hitting it to the side, getting a nice hit up field pace, hits it to the center. Zaki needs to shoot, doesn't get the angle. So unfortunate there, little pace. Now on the ball, 50ing it. Zaki again hitting it too far wide. Hashtags had the shot, unfortunately saved, hitting the post there afterwards. Such an unfortunate one there for them. Little pace, having the opportunity. Nice 50, Percy hitting this forward. Jaffa trying to keep this ball uh, up, but unfortunately, it's not working out. Zaki gets demoed. Jaffa clearing this out. Seems that it's the fate for us, uh, for no hope is sealed. Well, it looks like they're not really caring about this game anymore. It's just painful. They played very well, you know, having a good result against a team like Let's Go Storm. And now they're here. Game 7, 5 1 down, 25 seconds. No way they can't come back. And we can see Let's Go Storm going in the semi finals against We Vicious on the A stream. But yeah, it's really painful to watch no Beast Balls. They've done a really good job, but now they're just trying to at least make a goal for Honor. They're just, you know, they are out of playoff, but nevertheless, they play well in the end. Uh, they've made a lot of good saves against a very offending team like Glasgow Storm. But there it is. The ball has dropped, and it is GG's Glasgow Storm are through to the semi-finals against We Vicious. We Vicious against Glasgow Storm will be on the A stream for ECC, so make sure you check that out. Unfortunately, we see No Hope lose that and will be Ascension Trinity against ILV Esports. We'll uh, be back in roughly 10 minutes, so all stay tuned.